scores of Christians stand up at Nyakatale Church in Kinkizi Diocese for this year's Christmas prayers. The amendment of the constitution to remove the presidential age limit passed last week in a sharply divided parliament has been the main talking point in many churches during Christmas prayers. Speaking on the sidelines after delivering his sermon, the Bishop of the Kinkizi Diocese, Reverend Dan Zoreka, warned that the amendment would only promote instability. The issue of removing the age limit and changing our constitution using the mandate that you are parliamentarians, it's not good for us as religious leaders. We see it's not going to promote peace in this country. He urged members to redeem themselves by talking to the president, known to assent to the bill. It is possible. They can reconsider and say, Your Excellency, let us put a hold to this. It's not too late. But what do many Ugandans want? What should be the idea if we are to promote peace in this country? The bishop claims the bill which, among others, extends the term of office of elective positions, including those of MPs from five to seven years, does not represent the will of the people. Somehow, somewhere, we see people promoting their own selfish interests. The constitution belongs to all Ugandans. It's not for one party. Why don't we use the number to change the health status of Uganda? Why don't we use the numbers to remove poverty, to chase poverty away from Uganda? Why are we using the numbers to just deal with one issue in Uganda? That is no change. Meanwhile, several Christians also gathered at All Saints Church in Kampala. The Archbishop of Church of Uganda, Stanley Tagali, led the prayers. <laughs> He advised the Christians against being extravagant during this season and to embrace the true meaning of Christmas. To many people, uh, Christmas means a lot of shopping. People do a lot of budgeting. They do a lot of budgeting and spend a lot of money to buy things and then feel happy. The Archbishop also spoke out on the rampant unemployment among the youth, which has lured many into seeking jobs abroad, where some have found themselves working under deplorable conditions. Those who apply for jobs and get uh, accepted, God bless you. But those who go uh, in big masses, not knowing where they are going, that's a big problem. So they go there, sometimes the passports are withdrawn, so they don't have anything to do. They cannot even find their way back home. The church dedicated the year 2017 as the year of the family, but with more families still disintegrating, 2018 has been designated for the same. Ali Mivule, NTV, All Saints Cathedral, Nakasero.